Hello Grade 11s, welcome to the lesson on how different ways of compounding will affect the future value of an investment. Up to now, we have been compounding interest on an annual basis. It can also be compounded on a semi-annual basis, which is twice a year, quarterly, which is four times a year, monthly, which is 12 times a year, or daily, which is 365 times a year. We still use the same compound interest formula when compounding more than once a year. However, we make a couple of modifications. Why don't we explore the future value of an asset if interest is compounded in different ways? While we do this, we'll practice using the compound interest formula. Let's start with interest compounded annually. First, let's revise the compound interest formula. A is equal to P open brackets, 1 plus i, close brackets, to the power of n. a is the accumulated value at the end of the investment period. p is the principal amount invested at the beginning of the investment. i is the interest rate, and n is the time measured in years. Let's use this to calculate the future value of an investment of 12,000 Rand after three years at an interest rate of 15% per annum, compounded annually. Substituting into the formula, we get A is equal to 12,000, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,15, close brackets, to the power of 3. This equals 18,250, 0. The value of the investment after investing it for three years with interest compounded annually is equal to 18,250 Rand and 50 cents. Let's look at the same investment, but this time we'll compound the interest semi-annually. The interest rate is still 15% per annum, but because the interest is now calculated twice in one year, we must divide the interest rate of 0, 0,15 by 2. The money was invested for three years, and in every year, interest was calculated twice. Therefore, the value for n is now equal to 3 times 2, which is equal to 6. This means that a is equal to 18,519,61. After investing the money for three years with interest compounded semi-annually, the investment will be worth 18,519 Rand and 61 cents. Did you see that it worked out to be a better investment? Let's see how much more we would earn if the interest was compounded quarterly. Calculate the future value of an investment of 12,000 Rand after three years at an interest rate of 15% per annum, compounded quarterly. Now interest is calculated four times a year. So we divide the interest rate by four. A is equal to 12,000, open brackets, one plus zero comma one five, divided by four, close brackets, to the power of three times four. Remember, we also multiply the number of years by the number of times the investment is compounded in one year. A is equal to 12,000, open brackets, 1 plus 0, 0,15 divided by 4, close brackets, to the power of 12. A is equal to 18,665,45. So if 12,000 Rand is invested and interest is compounded quarterly, the future value is even higher. It is 18,665 Rand 45 cents. As you can see, the more times we compound the money in one year, the higher the end amount will be. Remember that if you are compounding more than once a year, you need to divide the interest and multiply the number of years by the number of times the money is compounded in one year. Thank you for joining us. Practice what you have learned by trying to do the questions on our task video on finance, growth and decay. You'll also be able to learn more about finance on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Don't get confounded when interest periods are compounded. Goodbye.